searching a graph determining which vertices can be reached from a specified vertex is a common activity performed on graphs we might want to know which roads lead from one town to another towns or we should know what is the road map or which flights can take us from one airport to other airports these operations are performed on a graph using a search algorithm so basically for graphs there are two types of search first is the depth first search and the next one is the breadth first search so depth first search and breadth first search are the two basic fundamental searches which are performed on a graph so let's have a look with the first search that is the depth first search what is this actually all about we'll understand the core functionality and then we will implement the functionality in javascript so considering for depth first search it is done in such a way that depth first search involves following a path from beginning of the vertex this is your beginning of the vertex until it reaches the last vertex so it is a following of path till you reach the last point or we can say it is done in such a way that you determine the source and also the destination so following from beginning of vertex till the last vertex the backtracking and the following next part reaches till we reach the last vertex however we are not searching for a particular item in this depth first search algorithm but instead searching to see what paths can follow in the graph this pictorial representation is to show you what is the depth first search all about the basic algorithm for depth first search i can say is very relatively simple visit a vertex i mean visit a node so these are our vertex so visit a vertex which has not been visited before and mark what has been visited say for example i am moving from a to b i have visited a and then i visited b then i should mark this particular path as 1 so that is my first en route thing so you should mark it which has been visited and recursively visit the other unvisited vertex that are original vertex adjacency list so then i move from b to c and mark it as 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 moving on to 7 that is g to h then h to i that is 8 and i to j that is 9 and j to k that is 10 and k to l that is 11 and l to m that is 12 so this complete formula is done in such a way or to make this algorithm work we should always follow a pattern in such a way that we should visit the unvisited vertex and we should mark whatever we have visited till now so let's have this algorithm implemented in our code base so let's move to our code base where we will create an html file and implement this depth first search algorithm So this is our code base. So inside graphs, we'll create a new file, and the name of the file will be depth first search. So I will give it as depth depth first search dot html. Now I'll create a basic doc type. So my doc type will be begin as doc type html and html. starting with a head tag which includes a meta tag that is meta cache set utf8 and then i begin with my title tag so my title tag will be depth first search implementation once i'm done with this head tag then i'll create a body tag so my body tag will have an h2 tag it says it is nothing but an illustration of depth for search algorithm so once i'm done with this then i'll start with my script tag so script type as text slash javascript and then i give the source as this is my depth for search so i'll give the path for my javascript in the same way like in html the naming convention should be followed 
So dev for search dot js. Now I will create this file. So let's create this file inside the graphs folder. So here I'll create a new file and the name of the file will be dev for search dot js. So the first step as we always do for creating a particular graph is to initialize the graph class. So I will do that over here as function. So it will be function graph. Here I'll specify the parameter in V and I'll give this dot vertices equals V and this dot edges as zero. So I'll initialize these parameters over here. Then I'll specify the adjacent value as this dot adjacent equals blank blank array and then I'll start with the for loop mentioning for where i equals 0 i less than this dot vertices i plus plus and within this I'll specify the adjacent parameter or I can say the adjacent parameter of an index with an empty array and then I'll push my parameter over here as dot push a blank array or a blank value. So I initialize with my graph class and there will be some more parameters over here which is called as the functionalities to be included in my graph class that is this dot add edge equals add edge and then I'll specify the show graph functionality that is this dot show graph show graph equals show graph and then I'll show the other functionalities included in it this dot bfs equal to bf that is nothing but my search algorithm and then my next step is to check whichever are marked vertices so that I'll initialize it as an empty array. After this, I'll take a for loop. So my for will be for where i equals 0, i less than this dot vertices i plus plus. And then I'll mark my array or whatever I can say like an marked vertices over here. Check out for the spellings equals false. So thus I have created the graph class over here. Now I'll create the edge class or I can say the add edge functionality. So I'll say function add edge. Here I'll mention two parameters that is vertex and the edge. So that is V comma W. So here I'll push my parameter as this dot add or the adjacent vertex will be pushed with w parameter that is my edge and the adjacent edge will be associated with the vertex parameter. So it will again say push v and then I'll mark my edges as this dot edges plus plus. So that is like an increment functionality. So I've given with my algorithm of depth first search and here I will begin with the functionality for depth first search as uh, before to that we will also show the show graph functionality. So here it will be show graph. So this logic was implemented the same we did in our last chapter where i equals 0 i less than this dot vertices i plus plus and then I will put the console over here as console.log i plus it will take an arrow mark over here so this will give me the proper representation of the nodes to be visited then after sure this I'll take a for loop where each and every node will be visited with the 
j index so for j equal 0 j less than this dot vertices j plus plus so here it will say if this dot adjacent value with the index of i and j is not equal to undefined well in this scenario you should print the value of every adjacent matrices or i can say the adjacent vertex which i get it so that is the major functionality for show graph so once this is done i'll print it with a blank string after executing the for loop I will give the console over here as console dot log as a blank value. So this was for the show graph fun functionality. After this comes my next functionality that is BF. So B that's like a de depth for search. So we will create the basic logic for this functionality with the help of a JavaScript function. So let's create a function. The name of the function will be function dfs with v parameter that is the vertex to mark which the vertex are visited so this dot marked v equals true so it marks all whatever the vertex as true once it is visited so this dot adjacent v is not equal to undefined so it checks if the parameter is defined or undefined then it will print console.log. It will print visited vertex. Visited vertex as a particular value of that vertex. So it will be plus V. And if on the other hand, after printing the particular vertex, it will again call for for each loop. So here it will say where W in this dot adjacent vertex v so where w in this dot adjacent vertex v or we can specify variable w over here with some other parameter it will be given as variable w equals a blank value now within this i'll specify if not equal to this dot mark mark w then i will call for this dot dfs w parameter so this will be the mark of my so called or i can say the start of the adjacent looping structure once I've specified with this parameter, I will start with printing the particular graph. So that will be G equals new graph. New graph. Here I'll specify the value for the graph node as 5. So I will have total of 5 vertices. Then I'll add G. G dot add edge as 0, 1. Similarly, I'm going to add several edges. So after add edge, I'll specify add edge 0, 2. Then after that, I'll specify the next edge as 1, 3. So these are the sum of L set of edge, edges which I am specifying. And after this, I'll specify 2, 4. And after 2, 4, I'll call for the functionality of show graph so i'll do g dot show graph after calling for show graph i will call for dfs function that is g dot dfs dfs and here i'll specify for this visiting vertex zero so starting with zero it should move on to the n number of vertices so let's go in our browser and check for the console what output we are getting this was our code base in our browser. So this is nothing but our depth for search. So here you can see we have printed the H2 tag that is the illustration of the depth for search algorithm. Now if you check out for the console, I get the edge nodes the way we had described in our last chapter 
where with the help of show graph we had a look of whatever the nodes which we have so 0 which is pointing to edge 1 and 2 1 pointing to 0 and 3 so this was my edges number so 0 was 1 and 2 1 was 0 and 3 2 was 0 and 4 and so on now comes this picture of visited vertex so here with the perspective of depth for search algorithm Whatever vertices it has visited, say it starts from 0, then 1, then 2, then 3 and 4. Because a total of 5 vertices was mentioned in my code while initializing the graph. So it visits each and every vertex and accordingly it follows the logic of depth for search where you have to visit the vertex which was not visited before. Now moving on to the breadth for search, let's understand what is the difference between both of them in our next chapter.